talk on applications. Uh, I'm joined here today by my colleague Michael from the Additive Minds team. Hello everyone. Thanks for joining us, Michael. Uh, and the topic that we're going to be discussing today uh, is recoders and the different types of recoders that we have um, and what the different application uses are for the different recoders. Uh, so I'll start there with my first question, Michael. Uh, for our metal AM machines, what are the different options that we have when it comes to recoders? So uh, basically we have two different options. We have hard recoders and soft recoders. I'll start with the hard recoders which are our preferred option. So at first we have the HSS blade, the high-speed steel blade, uh, which is used in most of our uh, cases. Uh, however, there are some steels that get magnetic during recoding. So therefore we use a ceramic blade to avoid streaks on the powder bed. Furthermore, we have three different types of soft recoders. So our traditional soft recoder of carbon fiber brush with an array of different carbon fibers. Uh, and now, uh, freshly introduced, we have two different kinds of polymer recoders. A silicon one, the white one here, and the black one is NBR, so nitrile butadiene rubber. Super, thank you. Thank you for that overview, Michael. Um, when a customer is thinking about uh, their application and which recoder they should use, what are some of the things that they consider when choosing the recoder? Uh, typically, we say uh, when uh, quality is your highest goal, then we would uh, highly recommend a hard recoder because you can assure constant layer thickness and uh, constant build quality. However, there are some special cases where you have to build very fine uh, or filigree features or simply when you uh, just want to finish the job so uh, that your priority is to get the part out as soon as possible and quality is only on the second stage. Uh, so therefore then we would recommend uh, soft recoders. We have here also two build plates. Um, these ones are our well-known spinners. Mm -hmm. And you also can see tiny supports there. Uh, it's perfectly uh, doable to do this with a hard recoder. Mm -hmm. So we can even build uh, fine structures, also a lattice structure for medical use we typically use the hard recoder. On the other hand, we have here uh, our well-known M290 build plate. And uh, these three supports here have an aspect ratio of uh, close to 70. A hard recoder will cause a lot of vibration due to uh, the forces that he is introducing. So uh, for this job, we use the soft recoder just to make this uh, job uh, notable. Super. Um, thank you so much for sharing this information with us and also with these great build jobs. Uh, and thank you for joining us, Michael. Uh, stay tuned for our next Tech Talk.